Hello guys, today I'm drawing a picture of shampoo from Ranma one half. I'm rereading the comics and um, <laughs> I just realized again how cute shampoo is, especially in the manga. I think she's drawn way cuter than she's animated since Rumiko Takahashi has a really cute drawing style, especially at the beginning. So <laughs> normally I I don't like to do voiceover since I don't feel confident in my English. I've got this uh, <laughs> dialect, this German born and <laughs> and I'm really uncomfortable talking to the microphone. It's just weird. But I really wanted to talk about the drawing I did. <laughs> okay, her face and head is a bit off. But, well, it was just a sketch I did for relaxation. And <laughs> so it doesn't have to be perfect. I did some colored outlines, uh, which I didn't do for a really long time. and. I had fun with it. I used my uh, Sakura Microns. I bought a set with brush pens because I want to have some colored brush liners for my outlines, uh, which are waterproof. There aren't much uh, brush pens which are waterproof, not even black ones. Which is kind of sad, I think, but well, it's okay. I found some and they are okay. They are not as good as others or as good as I <laughs> wanted them to be. So now to the colors. Uh, at first I wanted them to be kind of flat, but <laughs> in the middle of the drawing I or painting, I decided that I wanted to have a bit more depth because I like I like it when the shadows are have different colors even if it's just a bit it, the paintings look more alive this way but the colors are still really flat and I like it a, l a lot so what else um I use Schminke Academy watercolors. I also have their uh, artist line, the Horadam, but I want to use my Academy colors up before I start using them. I mean, I tried them out, but I, I don't want to use them up before I used up the student grades. I like Schminke a lot. They are my favorite watercolors. <coughs> And I'm lucky I live in Germany because I think they are a lot cheaper here than they are abroad. So I <laughs> guess I, I'm lucky here. Um, okay, I used uh, Ultramarine for her hair. Schminke has a non-granulating one. The Michello ones I tried out, or the the ones from Rinza Newton Cutman, and also the Van Gogh ones are way more granulating than the Schmink ones. And especially for portraits and stuff, I don't like the granulation, but I like it a lot in landscapes. So I have both granulating ones and non-granulating ones. So if you want a uh, non-granulating ultramarine, I would recommend the uh, ultramarine finest from Schminke Horadam. It, it may be a bit more expensive or a lot more expensive than other colors, but it really doesn't granulate at all. So because I've heard uh, that some Artists like to use ultramarine, but they don't like the granulation, but I've also heard from people that they love the granulation of the color, so it's 
up to your own, t own taste and I use okay what was the name of this color again I, I have to look in my list I have this color chart which was in the set it's a okay it's just called violet it's the violet from the Schmink Academy line and I love using this this color for shadows in the skin especially but I also used it in the hair in this one and well I think the the gray outlines for the gray outlines I used a Copic multi-liner with a brush nib yeah because there are I think there was no grey in the micron set but well that's okay since I already have run from uh, Copic although I have to say I don't like the brush nibs from for the Copic ma uh, liners liners I, I love the brush nibs on the Copic markers but not on the liners so okay I think uh, that's it there isn't much time left so I hope you had fun watching the video and goodbye till next time